Alright guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. It's version 3.5. I just updated. I want to straight away do the Archon Quest. Get the lore out of the way. So, chapter 3, act 6. Destined Encounter. We'll see Dane safe again, I heard. So, import almost, eh? Just go straight away. Yeah, I'm ready for the lore. Let's go. Port Armors And I don't want to uh, I want to use Traveler because it's story So yeah, use the Traveler for this Okay, finally X6 What was the quest again? Talk to Mastro. Worrying himself sick over a letter with an unclear address. Uh, okay. What's this about? <laughs> huh? Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Mm-hmm. Do you need something from us? <laughs> you bet I do. I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another Outlander. Dean? He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough. <laughs> He just wrote <coughs> next to a small white haired talking fairy. Okay. That's what? the address. So the address is Paimon? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Paimon right? is the address. And so. if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Yeah, I'm curious who could have sent it. Let me see this letter. Of course. Here it is. All yours. Come on! Paimon wants to have a look too! Oh, it's Kai, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's Kai, yeah. It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard two of you are traveling in Sumeru. I happen to be in Port Ormos. Oh, so Kai is here. Uh, okay. Stopping by Java Tavern for a drink or two. Come to me there again. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't make sense if it's Dean, but. Yeah, this is Fairy. So. Kaya, huh? <laughs> Kaya. So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Or maybe he's just being sneaky. <sighs> Do you think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Eh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. Did you see Lisa? <laughs> now it's Kaya. Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Okay. And I guess this is where I begin. Carrie Bird. Okay, I wonder why is it Carrie Bird? Ignore that, I forgot about the alarm. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, wait t until the following afternoon. I thought I was supposed to go to. Is it 16? Oh, there he is. He just sat down. <laughs> Wait. Do you think that he does skill works if Kaya's here? I didn't think about that. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Oh shit, Kaya is in Sumeru. 
Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh. Well then, just the bill, please. That's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon. Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Jean? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Terrified? <laughs> The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually a Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Really? Sumeru okay. spices are famous the world over. It's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. Really? They send you? Okay. So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master Diluc are gonna make a tiny sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative <laughs> opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> You've been to Sumeru before. Oh? What makes you say that? Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging okay. up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria. Which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Uh-huh. Kanria is located deep underground somewhere near Sumeru. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry, I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> How much do you know about Conria? Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. Oh, shit! <laughs> Dean is right there. I was wondering when will he show up. I had less early? and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. A happy life sounds good to me, of course. Mm. Even if it means being cut off from... certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Alberic, Alberic yes. is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, Ooh, please, boss. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dean just comes in. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Alberic? Dean's death? He came out of nowhere. Ah, you've decided well, to join right us. There. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, and if I'm not mistaken. Him. Because he's heard him? So you remember me? Remember? 
then we are already hmm. acquainted. Kaya Alberi, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. What? What? What exactly? <laughs> I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Alberica. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. Oh? I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. So the eyes do mean something. Because Kaya's eyes and Dean's sleeve look similar. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? They are Conrian eyes. Isn't it something like that? Very clever. So it is the eyes. Forgive me for being direct. But I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Uh huh, yeah. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. Can I somehow imagine if Kaya is uh, a bit like the cryo or something like that? Is so that what's going to happen? <laughs> Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. Uh... Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Uh, well, alright then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. Hmm. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. Okay, some theories now prove true, okay. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. I thought my sibling was the founder. Well, I didn't think that might be the case too. So you said that an Alberic founded the Abyss Order? Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Hmm. Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? Yeah, that makes sense. But she's princess, so someone higher, there's someone higher. Now, what do you plan to do here? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? I remember, but I forgot what it means. Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil oh, plan! Yeah, we learned about that back in Mondstadt. Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your sister. She mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. Hmm? Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that she mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in a Vidya forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of Okay, no. I'm ready. Now is not the time. No? <laughs> Are you concerned about the Abyss Order? Are we waiting for the perfect moment? No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. God damn. 
<laughs> alright, alright, sure. We'll wait for your drink then. God damn it. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, let Dave finish his drink first. <laughs> well, I'm up. Shit, I... Okay, w one thing I need to remember. I need to check if there was something... When if I see Kaya again or something, well, probably I won't. I should check every NPC in this story. They probably have some hidden. Uh, whatever. Nvidia Forest, anyway. Uh, I think here is faster. Is that really the only time we see Kaya in this uh, Archon Quest? Take or we'll see him again? Here? I always do commission here. <laughs> Why here? Wait. This place, it's familiar. It's the place where I always do commission. <laughs> Yes, the forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here after all. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Okay. Is this a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. Well, there's always a slide here. You can be forgiven here. for thinking nothing was ever <laughs> grown here. Over, over there. Or, wait, maybe nothing ever was grown here. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. <laughs> That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Okay. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. If you say so. Well, uh... Um, you leave the way then, Dane. <laughs> Alright, we're going in here. You know, how many times have I went here? Oh. Open door? That's new. Huh. So there really isn't anyone home. <laughs> the door just closed. so dusty. Paimon bets no one's lived here in years. <laughs> Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single detail. Okay. I see one here. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Are you sure? What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Does it ring a bell or something? Uh, let's check this thing. Okay, and the last one. What's this? There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Sure. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. <laughs> Alright, what is it? Huh? This is a mirror. A broken mirror. Was this a makeup box? 
Uh, it's a regular mirror. It's just broken. Mm, that's kind of disappointing. Paimon was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up. Do you remember anything, Dane? Doesn't look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy. But my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Noises? Noises. Is it? It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Um, okay, that's open. Anyone there? Yeah, it's just a slime. Just three, four slimes. Really? Monsters? Wow! Dane's ears are sharp, just like his nose! This is a I don't want to use Traveler. This is just slimes. Although for someone who's a cold, <laughs> Traveler, Dane's not really a big deal. Anyway, let's beat up these monsters! I know, I know. This dialogue is over. Oh. Okay, get it? There's more. Germinate. I see everything. Quietly now. Alright, keep on. Higher, higher, hands on fire. <laughs> I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. Is that why the slimes are always here? <laughs> A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Oh, of course it's ley lines. <laughs> but it seems to be more than that. No? Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. Okay. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Uh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Hmm. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Um, okay. Light the bonfire. Good thing I can tell. Yeah, Paimon understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why, it's just terrible. But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles, and you too to that. 
<laughs> Just see we have the principles and you to do that. What a line, okay. We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead. Cause if you're sad, my mom will be too. Alright, alright. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Hi mom will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. <laughs> Alright then. Nighty night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep. <laughs> Can she be nice for once <laughs> to find one? Memories of your sibling fill your mind as you fall soundly asleep. Oh no. Good memories or bad memories? <laughs> Time to wake up. Oh, didn't sleep. The sun has risen. Didn't sleep is back. Okay. Yeah, what's going on? What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains? You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? Alright. Rest here a bit longer then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Eh? Wait, what? Why are you going back to the forest? Yeah. <sighs> Travelers yawn. <laughs> yeah, where's Paimon? What happened? Why did Paimon wake me up to switch shifts? Where is Paimon? Yeah. Something's not right. Oh, there's someone hiding there. Uh, I don't think that's fine one. Can't be. Something's not right, seriously. Uh, look for pine wood inside the house. Oh, wait, 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 why, why, why? I was gonna go menu. What is this? I can't even look at the menu. Wait, yeah, something's not right. What is this? I can't even go to the map. Um Okay What's going on? Oh Halt What do you think you're doing? This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone! Just come Your on. travel companion? You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> mm -hmm. Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. Wait, you, you mean Paimon or Dane? <laughs> you were nearby last night? What business is that of yours, hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. It's not a Sumeru guy, it's someone else with that cost. Is that. Is that like Dane's? <laughs> do I make myself He's quite like a, a, clear? A bit like this. Leave! No way. There's something strange about... No, this whole place is strange. What's... Something's not right. It's not just this person. Well? What are you waiting yeah, for? Yeah, he's not in a bit like or something. With that costume. 
Uh... <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. What's wrong I've with you? <laughs> been observing you, and you don't look like a forest ranger nor someone from the academia. Uh -huh. Still, I'm warning you: no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. Sure, sure. Okay, fine. So what's going on here? Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. You. <laughs> Let's see if you... Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Uh, got it. Come on then. Go inside. I'm a bit worried. What's gonna happen? Uh, wait. No, wait. God damn it, open back the door. <laughs> wait. What? I see a hidden chair. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I can't even use Nahida. Yeah, it doesn't work. Something's not right here. And there's a healy child. What's going on? What's this? A healy child? Mind your own business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> um, okay. How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. Too young? So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired. Yeah, Go you're on. from Kanria, aren't you? That makes more sense. Huh. You know Kanria? Who are you, exactly? And how do you know I'm from Conria? Your clothes. Oh yeah, the eyes also. Right, I didn't think about the eyes. I just saw the clothes. <laughs> do you worship a god, traveler? Mm, some of them as friends, some of them as... Uh, some of them. We don't know who's the fool, except. <laughs> Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> Aid. Aid. All right. Well, um, my name is Ida. Ida. And okay. You are correct. I was once Conrian. Okay, once. Ida. Uh, oh, uh, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. Humans who do not worship the Seven. Uh-huh. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. Sport like a true Kanye. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. The curse. Just like this. <laughs> it was a little gift. Given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. We lost our home, our loved ones, everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly. As our souls erode and our 
bodies decay. Sounds so much like the Abyss Light. -er. <laughs> so Ida is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immortality. So why did some people turn to villagers while you were afflicted by this curse instead? Because although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. And when the Cataclysm came, we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Mm. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. So, non pure blood Conrians would turn into. Hidichos. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. Yeah, who is this Hidicho? He is Kari Bear, my oh. illegitimate son. Kari Bear is this Hidicho. Illegitimate son. How times have changed. <laughs> I could say that out loud with no consequence now, but oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. And then, one day. I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> she was from Mondstadt, okay. Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. After all that... He turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. What happened to his mother? She was. <laughs> we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Curry Bear. Hmm. Yeah, what do you plan to do now? What were you planning to do around here? Ah, oh, yes! I, that <clears throat> reminds me, I I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if, if you're uh, so inclined. Sure. Okay. Over here. Um, a crafting bench? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Kari Bear here to Sumeru. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Recover his clarity of mind? You trying to make him remember back himself? Is that what it is? Yeah, Dane said that the curse cannot be undone. Is recovery really possible? It's not gonna I work. do not hope to break the curse. Okay. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> this is a bit suspicious. Um, where is he? 
I don't see him. I believe that it might just work. <laughs> I read about it in a book. <laughs> From the Royal Library yeah, of Congress. This voice is literally <laughs> it was bad. a collector. <laughs> Surely. I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the seven to work. Uh -huh. In my youth, I, I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. <laughs> what other choice do I have? What exactly would you have me do? Uh, the gods have already punished right, us. Right, uh... What does one more sin matter now? Don't get to work out, understand, no matter what you have to try. I think this is a bug. I think Aida is supposed to be right in front of me. But, uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a bug. Alright. Sure. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. I'm sorry. I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. All thanks to this curse of immortality. Okay. Jeez. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. It's like a Rokushava mushroom, but it's red. I've seen the blue version of this, not the red one. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties yes, on I hand? Yes, I do. I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. Kalpalata, I have a few. Sumeru, I have a lot. Yes. Oh, wonderful! In, in that case, we have everything we need. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. By the way, Ada is not... Over here. Ada or whatever. Ada. Oh, I get confused with Boruto suddenly. No, <laughs> don't get mixed up. Uh, wait. Is this a loop? Hello? Is this a loop? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought. Well, it's because one which will help him Hello, this to is a recover loop. his. Yes, yes, yes. I do not. But it is said. I believe that it might just work. I read about it in my youth. I, I. The gods have already punished us. Mm. What does? Never mind. As it happens, I think this is a bug. I am in dire need of some help. My Why would hands be don't and have the dexterity they want. Okay. Okay, yes. Uh, also, uh, do you yes, have I any have, uh, have. of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe. No, what? Ah, there he is. God damn it. Synthesize the nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. It doesn't work on him. That's something not right there. Is it because he's not Sumeru? He's not from Sumeru. Synthesize the nameless taboo medicine. Without your help, goodness knows how long this would take me. Thank you. Okay. Synthesize it, eh? Okay, name this type of medicine for the royal cup. Hold on. Can I take the one over there? We're not in the real world, right? Because this this place doesn't feel real. Or oh, it's just because I can't even open the map. <laughs> Off. Strange mushroom. No bonus. Yes. 
Nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. Okay. Talk to Ida. Is it done? Oh, splendid. Let me see. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the band book didn't Pandemic. feature any illustrations. <laughs> well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Excuse me? Is it time to give Caribbean the medicine? Curses, what curses? No, no! We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. <laughs> okay, can't be easy for someone from Kandria. Uh... I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. Go to the statue. And we can't teleport, right? Yeah. So we have to just walk manually to the statue. Yeah, the statue is still in this area. Does this statue even work? <laughs> yes, it is. Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom! Look at me! I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home. Rot unfathomable. Suffering on my compatriots, yet he, here I stand before you. you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young... And an unfortunate soul, mm. my son, Carabere. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I... Bow to you now. <laughs> I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Caribear to see this world once more. Please, God. I beg of you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. Okay. Wow. And god damn it. My characters are healed. <laughs> Administer the dose of medicine to the healing chair. Oh boy. And where is Dane? Where is Paimon? Okay. Can this work? No. Carry 
there. Seems almost lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredibly weak. Well, we've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. Okay. Cory Bear, it's me. It's your father, Cory Bear. Cory Bear, please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born, and that I. I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering, but I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Cory Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Cory Bear. Forgive me. Please say something, anything. Please, please. <laughs> oh, gods above! What more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you! I give you my very life if only you cared to take it! But you won't even let me die! <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just deluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Uh, other reasons. What do you mean? Well, if the dosage was too low, perhaps it takes a full course of treatment. Or it takes time. You, uh, you really think so? Give up? No, no, n never! And yes, you're right. I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for fifty years, a hundred, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. Hmm. Let's go. We'll make another dose. The most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things yeah, complicated, but not impossible. I grow them in that field. Oh. So he's the one that's growing stuff here. The details don't matter, right? Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. If you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Sure. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. But we can't access the time. The menu is not there. Good. Then, then please head over when. The time comes. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's already 2 in the afternoon. Share. Since we cannot access the time, they access it for us. Okay. One more time. I see everything. No, we don't. Not in this one. Hey! Excuse me? Seats here. What happens if we just go there and see if Dane's up there? Uh. I think there's these. Strange mushroom watering water. Uh -huh. Uh 
Alright, let's speed up a bit. And he's outside already. Everyone hold hands. Still doesn't work. Ah, oh, you're back. Uh, Cora Bear's condition is stable. By which I mean he still isn't responding. Uh. Anyway, give me the water. Here. I need you to stand guard here for uh, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. Okay. You wait for Hita to return and fungi. So this is what attracts the fungi. Alright. There's a lot more. Uh, just a bunch of fungi. Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so <laughs> let's get on with it. Um, okay. Oh, Next, there you are. Pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. So we just do more. Okay. Can I use Nahida to take? I see everything. Nope, it doesn't work. Because they're special strange mushrooms. Okay, synthesize again. Uh, it's taking more of my lotuses. Here you go. Hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and never wake up again. But though the curse denies you even this is still okay. <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now for the final step. Back to the statue of the seven. God damn it. <laughs> and uh, and Huta will get to heal again. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I got Huta, I don't want to go to the statue. <sighs> so. We're here. Let's begin. Again? Left the house? Oh no! He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. Come on! We have to catch up with him! What? Wait, did this. No, no, no. It's just me. The area is still the same. You see, going to the chasm? He's going to stick to the chasm. Is that why... That's... That 
That's not Cory Berry. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, he has a silk scarf, right? There was a silk, silk scarf around him. Ah, right. And Cory Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. My, my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> this decrepit body of mine. <sighs> no, the, the little children. <sighs> yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? The cancer, probably. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about hilly churls, the better. And then we're going back via the chasm, right? Wait, what is it? A lamenter at fate's end. Are we supposed to hide from the hill chain? There's no like visual thingy. You just follow. Did it go in here? Well, let's head in. Isn't this... Isn't this Leo's unknown sanctuary? Wait, what did... We're, going, we're just going back. What is this now? Cutscene. What a ghastly place. Has it oh, it's always not a existed? Scene. I swear I've never noticed it before. This is the Yeah, in the castle of this thing. Uh, look where other cities just do it. Oh, it looks like they're uh, worshipping. Sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way to find out. It's familiar. This song again. Where are we though? This is a... Do we, uh... They won't attack us, huh? Yeah, they don't, they don't. Oh, resurrection activated. Uh, okay. That surprised me, I thought they were gonna attack or something. Don't tell me there's a chest somewhere here. I swear there's a chest somewhere here. There's no way. Uh, we're supposed to go there. What is this though? Oh Where are we? Is this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? Traveler's voice! That's Ether's voice. Is this the library? Like in the economy? Alright, this thing just closed. Oh, well, really? Of course. Why is it hiding? Oh, yeah. 
Oh my gosh, okay. There is a chest here. Did I miss any chest behind? I hope not. Okay. And we are... Oh, I see. We were down there, now we're up here. Okay. What was that? Oh, it's the door. You're supposed to go up there? The heated chills are here. It's upside down. I'm supposed to use this over here. Upside down, or gravity itself. That's why it's upside down. Uh, sure. So what now? Where do I go from here? Do I have to go to the center? I think I need one more for. Uh, It's just... It seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune. Yeah, so there's one more. Where do I get the other one? <laughs> and more traveler voice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, we need to go back. Okay. I see, we were there just now, alright. Any chess? <laughs> just as I say. Okay. Pick up. Um. Oh, they're here. Okay, now what? Open door. This place looks familiar. Um, sure, let's go down. And we're... Are we back where we started? Oh, shit! Is that... 
right to enter this place. An Abyss Herald? No, he doesn't look like someone from the Abyss Order. Do you insist on an audience? It's not Hydro, it's Cryo. Very this is well. the new the new Abyss Herald. He looks like just like the Hydro one. Are we supposed to battle him? Oh yes it is. New enemy. Let's see your moves. Ooh! Okay. Okay. I wanna know his moves first. Fortune Nectar. Okay. Alright, let's go a bit more damage. Oh shit. Okay. I should have brought a healer. Okay. Second part. I have uh, I have two times, so should be fine. What the hell? Oh shit, okay. Hold on. Okay. Well, he's down too. <laughs> was that? He was. He was. Terrifying? He was a perfect being. I'm in awe. He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you. Were able to defeat him. Oh, your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second and more excited. I think he's excited to be one of them. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, that's the first time battling. I did not bring a proper team. <laughs> And I didn't give a I didn't expect <laughs> that. Give me a while. Oh, why did I hear Huta? Oh, for fuck. What no? Okay, so. <laughs> Kaya being that guy is totally wrong then. But I'm curious what is this gonna lead up to? It's one hour already. This I've seen in that trailer. I think we've made it to the end. Uh, it's just like the default statue. It is the same aura as well, upside down. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that back. So it has something to do with the Abyss Order, probably the Loom of Fate as well. Remind me a little too much of the Grand Thief. Oh, right. Wait, what does that mean? He's framing too. <laughs> Why do you 
you bow down for fear of the unknown or for a power that you covet? Voice inside the head. Whose voice is that? You are like a flower, born in sin, yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. You need no longer hold back your resentment, nor accept the countless lies. Go forth, become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you, and I shall shed a tear at the end of time. As I gaze back upon your life. Who are you? Oh. <coughs> what happened? What just happened? When I saw that thing, my... My heart was instantly at peace. I, I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. I am. I feel good, in fact. I, I, I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. Oh, uh, is that so? All right. As you wish. Alright, something happened after that. Is he gonna turn or something? Did something happen to us too? Where is Pipeon? Where is Dane? Oh, Cory Bear! Oh, we're back. Oh, thank goodness! He's still okay! I. I I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. <laughs> you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might <laughs> be just as effective. I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I, I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> okay. Another dose is given. <gasps> Cory Bear. Oh. <sighs> That's his voice. No way. Papa. Oh shit. But he's still in the helicopter oh, form. My goodness, it worked! It's a miracle! Oh, oh Kari Bear, my dear son! You see? It worked! Kari Bear can speak again! He can speak. He's, he has his uh, conscious. Mama. Mama is. Kari Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? I think he's seen already. Of course. Your papa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes, this is this is what this feeling is. How do you feel, Cory Bear? Are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Uh, oh, wait. wait. Yeah, he's changed to a hilly chill. Uh, my body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh, it, it, don't 
panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we, we went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more home. But, but, but... Do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I... dead? No, 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 of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? Yes, really. You've all only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh, and, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Right. What happens if you do, though? I don't Understand. know about this. Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. You've never seen what's... <laughs> behind the hill jump bus before. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. Okay. Not since that day have I been so glad oh. as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I, I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. But the god we saw in that cave, oh, now that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. Hmm. What is that? Hey, God, actually, even that wondrous power. It was truly enchanting. Hmm. <laughs> Surely that that must have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now, he's a sinner too. After one beseeches a god, so also a and the god Kabriya responds day. by answering their prayers, should they uh? do something to show their devotion. Piety is hardly my area yeah, of that expertise. Was a singer. That was one but of surely I should honor the God that has honored my wishes. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You, you don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Never! He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous! No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. Mm, okay. Hmm, yeah. Are we forgetting that Paimon and Dane is not back? Like, something's not right. Alright, there's three achievements already. Enter the cavern again. Ah, oh, yeah, just know. They use the dark power to command the ice and frost, decrease the stamina. No wonder. So they do create decrease stamina. I stick out teleport. We're still in this fake Sumeru area somehow. And we are going back into the in the cavern again. We ran. Okay. 
Wait. I think this is like we can't even use waypoints. We can't even teleport to the statue. So this is different though. And we're going back here. Back to the chasm. When they say it's be Kaya said Kanria is somewhere near Sumeru. Is this what they meant? Oh, damn it. Not again. Property. Go bad. <laughs> Go to the mystery statue. No! Impossible! It's gone? What happened? Yeah, it was right here, just though. The Hilly Churl worshippers have disappeared too. What's going on? Was it all an illusion? Yeah, it cannot be the same illusion. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body. Wait, yeah, it did go to you. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> it was a wonder. Yes, a divine wonder. Let's go, traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance, and I, I do believe that someday in the future we shall <laughs> see it again. Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? But then who is that? Okay, we're going back to the house. Something gonna happen? Kari Bear? Uh oh. Where has he gone? Exactly. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? Or did he. What's no. the no, it can't have been that. There's there's no sign of a break in and, and no sign of yeah, anyone maybe having been here. He ran off? Or maybe he's just walking around. This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or an adventurer in his current state that he's hmm? <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... Oh that. We opened the thing, right? We Take a look and we saw the mirror. Oh no! Did he? Oh, he saw himself. Through the mirror. Ah, oh, the mirror's not there. Oh, there he dropped it. <gasps> the mirror! It's broken! It was broken. Yeah, he has been broken. He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. So, wait. If that's the case, was the mirror not broken before this? 
Is this a different... Yeah, this must be a bit different time. This must be a different time. If he'd just done as he was told... We have to find him. You said it. That, that makes sense though. Okay. He's probably outside or something. It's night. Is it really? Oh yeah, it's really. This is... It's his scarf! Huh? He dropped it! Uh oh. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, come on! That's not good. If he takes, takes his scarf, we don't know if it's that he will do it. Oh, but he, 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 we can hear his voice though. Because he's talking. <laughs> we haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? A, a, a hilly churl should have, um, come past this way. Have you seen <laughs> That's it? so sus. I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. You to fight them. I said, have you seen a hilly churl? Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. Uh-oh. You, you... You... Forest Ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers! Curse you all, forest rangers! Uh, stop it. Yeah, we're not gonna fight them. Yeah. I don't get it! Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. You... He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? You might be not even him here. So tell me, forest rangers, did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez, you're really not gonna let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh... <laughs> Use the toilet. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. So I left it alone. It's the hook. <gasps> yes! Wonderful! <laughs> Wonderful! Let's let's go! Uh, we have to find him! <laughs> Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info, goodbye? <sighs> okay. This has to be a different time because Pyrmon's not with us. Dane is not back yet. Oh, <coughs> that must be him. That must be him. Yes, it is. Cory Bear! Cory Bear, stop! It's me! It, it's Papa! Whatever you saw, it, it was. It was all a trick, an illusion. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Kari Bear, come back. It's time to go back. Kari Bear? He's not his photo. How could this happen? He regained his mind. He, he must be able to hear me. Surely, come. Curry Bear, we have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? What has that strange power done to you? Oh, cutscene. Uh-oh. Papa! Curry Bear! Papa, I 
take it, take it. Please, Kari Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all. It's all too much. He's gonna take the bus off. Take his mask off. Get away. <laughs> I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> hmm? What happened? Wait, are we? No, what happened? Why did we... Huh? Yeah, Kyle would take his mess off, but then what? Aha! Traveler! You're awake! Finally, we can rejoice together! I've got energy for that. Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. Huh? Wait, what? Why am I still calling you Traveler? I have known your true identity for some time. What do you mean? <laughs> I suspected it was you from the beginning. I had to talk to you to be sure. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status here, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. You mean Ether? In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. Hey. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. <laughs> My real name is Clotar. Clotar? Clotar Alberich. Alberich. So you saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us sinner. It was one and the same. <laughs> I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> At long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. I didn't see it. What happened? That is no business of yours. Why were we able to see it? A sinner. Yes. Salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Hmm? Karabel did not deserve his fate, but now it's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. What? Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of fate. That's the loom of fate. Yeah. You're right about this being for the abyss, but the abyss is sinister and dangerous. <gasps> but you said you Alberic. Sinister. Dangerous. Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the abyss. How ridiculous. We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us, you were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. I think you're mistaken with Ether and Lumine. Is that what it is? And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. Or our both of the three. No, it cannot be. But what did you bring us instead? Oh, Princess of Conria. Wait, Princess? You are saying to me. Wait a minute. What do you mean? What did he just call me? 
Try the voice again. Hero. No way. Did look at ourselves. So this is Lumine in the past. We are going through Lumine's past. Is that it? All this time it was all Lumine, not us. We are, we are just going through. You're awake! Oh, thank goodness you're awake! Oh, wait, what? Okay, now we are awake. <laughs> we are actually awake. Everything in that, what whatever that was, was all the wind. Huh. What happened while you were unconscious? What was? I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? The founder of the Abyss Order, Clotar Alberic? So he was the founder? Was he? Or was it a different Alberic? You mean Clotar Alberic? Yes, it is. After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. So. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. After a hundred years. So yeah, that was just a memory. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. Despite that, my sister ultimately sided with him. So that's how she sided with him. You could say that. She wouldn't be the Abyss Order's princess otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? You just experienced that whole thing. Because you saw her memory right from here. centuries ago. No, that was a through your own that a, eyes. That was a past. It all but defies belief. So the Tinsley we saw was just the past Tinsley. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. What actually happened to him? We didn't even see. And yet your sister never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that she decided to go down this path? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Clearly this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This was where it all began. What is it? Is it the strange mushroom again? The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. You discover... You scared the Duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? Huh? You reburied them? Uh... Oh, you mean... Skeleton buried together. Oh, shit. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. 
and it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. Wait. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies yeah, buried here? Yeah, to float to Albury then. What? That's impossible. Unless... Clotar Albury finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think. And to search my memories for some missing pieces. We should part ways here. Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know? Yeah. Then waiting for another year for, the, for you to see again. It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. He? Who's he? The voice that we heard? Whoever that sinner is? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity. But I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. So someone... If the time yes. is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? It was just a memory, yeah, it happened early, but... I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is he? A sinner, exactly. Alright, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. <laughs> there goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? One year later, we'll get this story again. Hmm? What is it? <laughs> huh? Oh. Uh... <laughs> oh, that was it. Wow. What uh, a conquest. So, there's this some other. So, this place. This table. Wow. We can go back to that place, right? We can still open this? Yes, we can. The beaver is not here. <laughs> What's this always here? This door thing? I think this is new. Uh, Okay, wow. That's done. I expected it to be longer. <laughs> but okay. Alright guys, that's it for the Archon Quest chap uh, chapter 3x6. Right? Uh, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.